Burger, a nice day. Um, thank you for clicking on your video. Hope you're well. Please like, leave a comment below. Let me know what resonates. Uh, share if you think it'll help someone, because that's what we do. Um, and subscribe, because it helps me, if you haven't already. If you have, thank you. Many blessings. Motivated, okay. Transition is on the bottom. That's energy you don't see. And connections on the top. Interesting. But we have the be motivated. I feel like now's the time to be motivated, Virgo. Maybe you are motivated. Maybe, maybe number one. That's number one. Wow. B. Maybe I feel like you've got to be motivated, Virgo. Motivated like a bee, despite being small. Despite being small. Nothing stands in the way of a bee on a mission to find sweet nectar. It's time to examine your own productivity. If you are disorganized and indecisive, you are going to miss opportunities as they present. Review and prioritize your goals. Only you can decide which of these are important and which are now redundant. However, ensure you pause often to savor and celebrate the fruits of your labor. There you go. I feel like just count your blessings. Count your blessings, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna read a little bit for you. So there's many changes happening this year, uh, this month. So retrograde activity increases by the end of the month, okay? So you should be going through that now. 30% of the planets will be traveling backwards. It's not a disaster, only a slowing down of the pace of events. Jupiter will make a major move from your sixth house into your seventh on the 14th. Okay, we've gone through all this. This is only a flirtation with your seventh house, but it is a signal of things to come. Love is in the air. Finally, we have a lunar eclipse on the 26th and it seems to affect you strongly. Take a more relaxed schedule over that period. The eclipse occurs in the fourth house of your home and family and impacts the ruler of your house in Jupiter. So maybe there's a lot of, lot of stuff going on at home. Perhaps he or she is even being slandered as they change a parent, a parent or parent figure is redefining him or himself or herself perhaps he or she is even being slandered as they change their self-concept they will change their image their presentation to the world repairs are often needed to the home these kinds of eclipses often reveal hidden flaws that there that you knew nothing about once such flaws have been revealed they can be corrected siblings and sibling figures in your life are forced to make important financial changes money 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 children and children figures are making important spiritual Spiritual changes. There you go. Cool. Um, every lunar eclipse has an impact on friendships. So friendships are so your friendships are being tested. Okay, so just stay calm. Don't sting like a butterfly, float like a bee. Um, this is because the events that are happening in your friends' lives, computers, software, um, high-tech gadgetry, all can be tested. They can be temperamental this period if you're having problems with electronics. Don't open suspicious emails. Keep important files backed up. Um, in spite of the eclipse, you're in a sixth, so it's a successful month for you guys. Your sun enters your 10th house of career on the 21st and the yearly career peak. Mercury, the ruler of your horoscope, will be in your 10th house of career from the 4th onwards. This indicates personal success. It's not just about your professional abilities, but who you are, your personal appearance and overall demeanor. So that's just you as a person. So I feel like you're just going to be motivated to be you, Virgo. Okay. Um, Venus, your financial planet will go out of bounds on the 25th. So you're going outside your normal sphere of financial matters. There are opportunities outside your normal circle. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. B, so motivated. Oh, high priestess. It's come out. Yeah, so learning. It's time for learning, guys. Wow. I feel like the number two. So we've got two, two here. So we've got the high priestess and then judgment. So this is you, this judgment being called. You as a person as what you do, your job, your your relationships, your friendships, like everything. This is what I'm being told. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you're walking away from like, you're walking away from people that play in, in these silly games, you know, silly games. They win silly prizes. <laughs> play silly games, you win silly prizes. And I feel like you just, you've had enough. You've had enough. You want change for yourself as a person. Yeah, you want look, yeah, look for you. You want love, you want happiness. You want all these things, Vega, and you deserve them. You deserve them, you really do. I feel like this is, you're letting go of a lot of, lot of past hurt. Or this is, you're making judgment calls on people now. I feel like the past has taught, the past has taught you about what you, what you will put up with and what you won't. And you're not putting up with that shit anymore because you're sitting in your truth now. One more. Okay, thank you. So the hermit, the page, and yeah, see, look at this. Wow, two fours. So this is just shit in your head and shit in, in, in general. People just, yeah, you're making a judgment call. 
and this has got to do with work. You're taking you're taking a new approach to work because what, what what in the past what hasn't worked because you've gone through you've gone through something Taurus energy. We're you dealing with the Taurus, but you, you've you've gone through some because this is dark night of the soul, the dark night of the soul. You found balance, BJ. You might know someone with the initials BJ. This, for some of you, this this person you've you've made, you've had to make a judgment call on this page, whoever this page is. Whoever this page is, there you go. Because they brought nothing but drama and nonsense. And I feel like for some of you, I feel like whoever they could, they could have been, they could have been, they could have been stealing from you, you know. But that's more just mind games for me. Someone's left out in the cold. Yeah. So look, so the hermit, so two, two, priestess, two. So to high priestess, the hermit, from from going within. Virgo and, and and doing some work on some inner work. You've found you've found which way you want to go from the two, the Hierophant to nine, the Hermit to back to the two, two of Wands. This is looking at where you want to go. Finally making a decision on what you want to do because you know now you know what fuels your fire, what what your passion is. And then we have <coughs> the Judgment, which is you making a decision or spirit coming in and making a call for you, you know, like showing you. Cause this, I feel like this, this page, this page isn't enough. Like there's a new beginning. This, after this page, there's a new beginning. Spirit's bringing you something in. Spirit's bringing you something in. Spirit's bringing you something worthy. There's lots of twos and ones, lots of beginnings. Like we've got the two of pentacles, the two of wands. High priestess is two, judgment's 20. You know, and then we got the page and ace. Ace of pentacles, one, two, one, two. Definitely lots of twos. So two, 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 might be seeing two, two, two everywhere. You've got the moon on the bottom. But this is, this is balance within yourself, guys. Not letting other people, not letting other people decide what you want to do. And if there's a, just a lot of dramas, yeah, ace of wands. So it's like beginning, yeah, new beginning. New beginning. Cherry, yeah, look, travel, cancer. And that's that's with the hermit and the page of pentacles that's like travel you know that's you've gone within you've gone within now you're coming out you're coming out now and you're looking at you know queen of cups princess of cups ten of wands love there's love there's yeah i feel like this could be an air sign coming in for you virgo it could be libra aquarius gemini but I feel like this is who spirit's bringing in for you. This is someone that'll work well with you. Someone that'll bring you balance. So judgment and the seven of swords. So the five of swords clarified by, by the five of ones. So judgment is the five of ones strife. So all the strife is just, it's being put to bed. Nine of swords, yeah, wow. The chariot, nine of swords, page of pentacles. So the five of ones, so we've got the nine of swords. That's like, that's, Forward clarity, like it's charging. The Knight of Swords is, is charging. We've got the Princess of Swords here. Pinnacles. So we've got two princesses and a knight. So Knight of Swords, wow. That's that's two to a balance. Look at the cups, you know, she's holding a cup too. Has she got two cups? No, she's just holding her cup. Yeah, wow. And the two of cups. You're finding balance. That's because you this, I feel like this person is going to bring you balance. Wow, yeah. Ace of Wands, the Chariot, and the Princess of Swords. Like, Ace of Wands, Spirit, you taking charge. You taking charge in a new career, like direction. Chariot, fast, fast, like that's after, that's over the Hermit. That's like coming out of the darkness. Look at the light coming out of the darkness and then having this clarity. You know, Princess of Swords. Yeah, wow. And then we have the five of ones, which is, you know, judgment, strife, you're calling on all these people, these past, these people from the past, you're letting them go. The Knight of Swords and the Princess of Cups. Like, wow, there you go. Fast moving action towards what you want, you know, and this, this person's gonna bring emotional balance for you because you're gonna have a clear head about what you want. Should we see what, we'll see what sort of, Animal energy. What animal energy is Virgo dealing with? A lion. Wow. Could be. Could be. Could be dealing with a uh, Leo. They're very confident. They're very confident. I feel like they're this Princess of Swords and Knight of Swords in one. <clears throat> 
So they will be the lion, right? So the lion is often thought of a ferocious predator, the king of the jungle, focusing on their prey, moving powerfully without hesitation. They have a majestic air of confidence that draws attention. Both male and female lions roar, the roar that can be heard miles away. Yeah, I think it's like four miles away, you can hear a lion's roar. Four miles away. Yeah, four, four miles. That's 4,000 meters away. <laughs> You can hear a lion's fucking roar. Right now, your courage is calling you. Stand with pride and confidence against anything that you would usually shy away from. You are enough. You are more powerful than you give yourself credit. It's time to let others hear your roar. Yeah, okay. They're going to bring in this confidence. They're going to bring in this confidence for you. To be dealing with a Leo, okay. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know, yeah, if, if this is you guys to be dealing with this. But you'll, you'll keep going. Like, don't stop for you. Never stop for you unless you need time out. But like, if you're a priority, everything will work out for you. It'll work out fine. Trust in yourself. Be motivated and confident in your in your decision, okay? And there's no need for worry, Virgo. I love you guys. Stay real, stay humble, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.